everyone! So today I am going to be doing an unboxing video of this month's Birch Box, which I have right here. This is the July Birch Box, and I don't usually do like unboxing videos of these because I've been getting Birch Box for like many months now, and usually I sort of integrate me opening them into my vlogs, but now I want to start doing separate videos of them in case anybody wants to know the sort of products that you're gonna get inside the Birch Box in case you wanna get it yourself. I'm not sponsored by the way, they're a very big company, and I really doubt they would want to sponsor somebody like me, so. So, yeah, anyway, moving on. <laughs> what you get when you open the box is you always get these little cards um, which open up and you can read some of this. Yeah, it tells you what you get inside, which I don't really like to look at because I just want to open it up and see for myself. So that is what we are going to do. Screw the leaflet, we don't need that. So here we have this. I really like the box, by the way. It's a really nice purple colour. So you always get it in this little bag inside the box so let's just open up this bag and see what we've got this is not going to be a very long video obviously because you only get like five products so let's just have a look so we actually have a full size product in this month and I actually knew this was coming because it asked me which full size product I would like to receive. The first thing we've got is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Forever Smooth Anti-Frizz Primer. So what this does is it sets the foundation for long lasting smooth uniform style the end result is frizz elimination yeah so you put this on your wet hair uh one perm and then you dispute distri dispute distribute i can't even speak today evenly throughout hair from mid length to tips so yeah you don't want to be putting this all up in your roots because it'll get greasy so just yeah just don't do that and then you do not rinse it out and you style. So basically I would put this in my hair probably, well yeah, before I blow dry it. And then once blow dried, I straighten my hair. And like usually when my hair is wet, I will put leave-in conditioner in my hair or argan oil. But this is something that I guess I'll put in my hair before I blow dry and straighten because every time I wash my hair, blow dry, straighten, done. That is my hair. That is what I do. I never leave it natural anymore because it just goes horrible. So, yep, that is the one that I actually selected. And hopefully that's actually good because my hair does get a little bit frizzy sometimes. Anyway, moving on. So the next thing I'm taking out, these are like really small looking. What is this? Oh, we have a micellar lo lotion. Is that how you pronounce it? Micellar? Yeah. I haven't heard of this brand before, but there you go. It is by Thermative. Thermative? Yes. I think that's what it says. Thermative Hydractive Micellar Lotion. And basically what you do with it is, yeah, you, you just clean your skin with this. Like, why am I out of focus? Yeah, this is just basically a cleanser for your skin to help get the dirt and stuff off. So I probably will give this a go because, you know, the cleanser that I use at the moment is actually like a lotion. And I haven't had something like this before. Yeah, it, it, it removes makeup also, so that will be a good thing to try because I use a lotion cleanser and it's like, I don't even know if it's good to be honest, so it'd be nice and refreshing to have something different. Next, this it looks very exciting actually because I've had something by this brand before. I had the Lock um, eyeshadow stick and this is a lip pencil, I think. There we go. So we get this open. It is an ultra gloss lip pencil in Bohemian Rose. And I'm actually wearing a similar color to this on my lips right now. So yeah, that's, that's interesting. Like at the moment on my lips, I'm wearing NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Tokyo. Looks quite similar to this. And it's probably gonna be a nice thing to add to my collection. I guess you can just, it's one of those lip pencils that you can just put like all over your lips because like, you have lip liners which are like in the form of pencils which I am also wearing. Makeup Academy's Pink Me Up to line my lips and then I filled it in with the soft matte lip cream. Anyway, too much talk about my actual makeup and not about what's in the birch box so it's that. We have a nail varnish which is a little bit boring I guess because you know I don't really wear nail varnish to be quite honest. It's Nails Ink London and this is just a very deep uh, red colour. It's quite, you know, I might actually give it a go wearing on my nails because I haven't worn nail varnish lately and I was actually <laughs> trying to put some on my nails earlier and I like 
screwed it up and then I gave up. <laughs> but I'll give I'll give that a go on my nails. And then we have all a final product. It is an eyeshadow. I have got like I recently bought a couple of eyeshadow palettes and if you're wondering what's on my eyes at the moment, it is Makeup Academy again. I use Poptastic palette and the Starry Night palette on my eyes, so just in case you were wondering, of course. And this is a, what color is this? Let's just crack this open. It's a soft satin eyeshadow. I'm terrible at getting things out of boxes. Ooh, this looks nice. It's got a nice looking texture to it. Wow, yeah, it is like satin. So I do a little swatch of this, you know, let's let's do it, why not? It's really hard to, okay. Well, that's what it's like on my finger. I had to really like rub it in there though, so. But when I'm doing it on my ha hand, you can't really see it that much. So I'm not sure how good this is actually gonna be. Like, I don't know if you can even see that. Oh yeah, you, you kinda can. I mean, I don't know. Seems all right, but this is in 228 Natural. You have to see how it applies with a brush though on the eye, like that is what's important. So yeah, that is by Gadi, uh, what, what is that, Gadi? Like if you can, not even Gade, it's Gadi. Gadi, okay, whatever. So yeah, that is actually everything then. So we've got some, uh, let me just do a quick little, I'll do a quick little swatch of the lip pencil quick little swatch of that. It does seem quite uh, glossy, like it uh, like it says, so that's actually really nice. Let's see that in comparison to my lips. So it looks like a little bit of a dark pink, but yeah, I, I really like that and I'm happy because, you know, I need more pinks in my lipstick collection because it's getting a little bit nude at the moment and like I was wearing a nude lipstick with this makeup, it's like, no, just don't do it. it. It doesn't go together. When you've got like pink eyeshadow, do not wear nude lipstick because it looks bad. But yeah, this is this is pretty shiny. Like I was moving my arm around, and it looks really shiny. That is everything I got in the July Birch box in 2016. And this is a little bag. It says best day ever on it. So yeah, it also says never ending summer on the box here, just in case you were wondering. Yeah, that's the July 2016 Birch box. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video.